2017 Audi R8 V10 Spider Drivers notes the everyday supercar. The second generation Audi R8 V10 Spider carries on all of the wonderful traits of the first model. It's both fast and comfortable, the kind of all-rounder than you could only dream about a decade or two ago. While some of us may miss the V8 and gated manual shifter, the 540 horsepower V10 and dual clutch are still a wonderful combination. This model has a number of upgrades, including a carbon fiber trim package and 20 inch wheels. The convertible top was a nice bonus during fall. All the better to hear that 5.2 liter monster resting in the middle. Editor in chief Greg Migliori, I spent a night in the Audi R8 V10 Spider, and it's always riant, if you want it to be. Queuing up dynamic mode and blasting away from a stoplight is a heart pounding experience. But when I was stuck in rush hour traffic, I was perfectly content. The only trade off is ride height and visibility. It's a little hard to see out of this thing, and you're basically sitting on the ground. Otherwise, the suspension is civilized, and even cruising at semi legal highway speeds is a buttoned down experience. I love the looks of the R8. It stands out with distinct styling that gives Ali a true design halo. I found myself sipping coffee and staring at it during a photo, video shoot. The red paint is a little over the top, but hey, it's a supercar. And the Y design wheels are a nice compliment. It's audacious without being insane. I really like the V10, naturally. It's sneaky loud. I realized this when I got in the car the next morning and the radio volume was cranked. If you're a professional athlete, actor or just flat out rich, the V10 R8 should be on your shopping list. Senior Editor, Green, John Belt Snyder, It's been a while since I've driven the Audi R8, and I didn't expect to like it as much as when I got to use the gated manual shifter in the first gen car. I was wrong. Things even more amazing now, if slightly less quirky. And, even though it was raining the whole time I had it, the Spider's convertible top made it even more fun. While the wide open experience is probably marvelous, the soft top kept me dry while letting in just a bit more noise from the ferocious V10 sitting right behind my head. The sound it makes when it instantaneously responds to the throttle input, screaming upwards of 8000 revolutions per minute, is hair raising. This car is simply amazing to rev up. I was able to skip my cup of coffee after my commute. But I was still able to listen to NPR on the radio at low volume and hear just fine when traffic became congested and I ran out of room to play with the powertrain. It's not the most comfortable car. The seats are hard, the suspension is unforgiving in dynamic mode, and there's precious little room to rest your left foot. Still, it's a hoot to drive. And it inspires confidence. Even with the top up, we had a great view in almost every direction making it easy to point the way through gaps in traffic or avoid a careening commuter with their eyes on their phone, a quick downshift and a little throttle provided enough noise to get their attention, too. I can't wait to try it with the top dropped.